So going from here, the first step is to cut everyone. I'm kidding. <laughs> Practice this week was definitely pretty weird, just like in terms of scheduling and stuff. I mean, after the loss last week, uh, we had immediately had two days where um, we had some obligations for the league. It really uh, kind of took away from potential practice time. Practice went actually all right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we didn't have a lot of practice. Our scrim schedule got pretty messed up because a couple teams they had issues with booking and scrims. A lot of the teams that are already locked in for playoffs aren't playing the current patch, they're playing the playoff patch um, because you know some of those matches might not really matter um, in terms of the you know the seeding for them. Um, so the amount of scrim partners that we have and the time that we had together meant that you know we had some really just odd scrims. I think that probably happened for a lot of teams. So we just kind of did our best to, to make do with the practice that we could. So even though we were eliminated from the playoffs race before this week, we still tried as hard as we could to pull out the win against Atlanta. We were at a point at the beginning of this week where, you know, we have nothing to lose. We actually have nothing to lose. Even though we didn't have a lot of practice, every practice, like, we tried to make the best of it. We had the mindset that, well, we didn't really, like, we, had, we, we know we have nothing to lose, so we came into practice with that mindset. For this game, while we want to win, we don't want to go on seven. We know that it might be better to just go with something a little more wacky, take a risk, just try new things to see if it might, you know, bring something, you know, to the match that Atlanta might not expect. I think sometimes we can really be scared to experiment with our comps where team that definitely likes picking comps and then sticking really hard to them and trying to grind them out as best as we can. Um, but for me, I think it was a really good step to see the team do this. It didn't really matter if we lost or if we win. Obviously, we want to win, but it didn't really matter. So we're like, okay, let's might as well like try something, try try to have fun, try to, to play together and have fun together and try to win together. Like That's the only thing we have to do left. So yeah, we tried a lot of things, a lot, lot of different things, and it went pretty all right, and we were pretty happy about how it went. We really just wanted to put something together that we could be proud of for this last week. Um, you know, this last week being the LA homestand, uh, we know that uh, being at a homestand is, is great. It, it feels great. And we wanted to at least have a good showing here. There was absolutely no pressure on these games. We were free to play how we wanted, free to do our best, and still just show off the potential that we had. Even though we didn't have a chance of going to playoffs, we still also had a chance of influencing the way that the playoffs went. So I think there was still a lot of motivation to show up and just play our best. As a team, we didn't have like, any pressure on us, so we all just play like, like we know how to play. All right, last match of the season. If we give it all, we leave it all on stage, all right? We're gonna go out there and we're gonna dominate. All right, let's play spoiler to Atlanta's top, top seed, all right? We're gonna burn blue on three. One, two, three. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're live from the Novo at the LA Live for the Kit Kat Rivalry Weekend. My name is Semler, with me is Hex, and that is the Skyline, as well as the Tanks. Splash Tanks it is, someone's gonna go in the water. Luckily, it's not, not gonna us. be me. No, oh, luckily, wow. not gonna be us, but we're gonna open the show today. We have a really interesting matchup to start it off. We've got Atlanta versus Dallas. Let's welcome the Dallas Fuel. Five, and now Erster's gonna get back into this fight faster. So Erster can get in here on this FRD down, but no traded for the Hawk, and there's nobody on the point for Dallas. I'm Atlanta just rolling over. It's all over, but the crying here as the cleanup comes in for the Atlanta Reign. Who's really gonna shoot you from long range if you? You're going to deal with anybody who's not gonna be right in your face, and then gets walk onto the point. FRD looking to do some big damage right now. He will obliterate notes. Zachary, however, going to work in the back line. Zachary making the plays for the Dallas Fuel. We'll see if they can get the third locked in. You're going to have the change coming in from Erster. Punk has gone over to the Hammond, and he's not gonna make it in time. Great work there from Hope with the body block. At the end. Map two was one where you know we had 
some things planned. At the end of the first round, you know, I think we had like 0.2 seconds left or something, you know, on the clock where they, they capped with like four minutes. And we knew, you know, hey, this was a time where we could pull out one of these, you know, new things that we were going to try. I think they're going to be better than us at Enzo Comp. So I think we do something like King Fire like, Comp or something in defense. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can play like an Amor. We can play like an Amor. Yeah, no, we can try. Okay. okay. Throws it out immediately. Zachary there to open it up with the kill on Entlayer. Popo gets bullets down by the Dragon AKM. Chiming in as well. And Dallas Fuel. Are you kidding me? They might get it done right here, X. And the Dallas Fuel. They will succeed. Let's, let's do it. Close the agreement and say, let's do it. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We have nothing to lose. Right. Yeah. So the team, you know, all got on board. We did the Ferris stuff. And you could tell that, you know, Atlanta didn't feel super prepared for it. Matches the row that we cast them. There it is, right there. Go back to spawn, Atlanta. Back to the drawing board. Blizzard, though, thrown in. And that is great. Zachary just creating space for the defense to come crushing in. Atlanta Rain, they cannot hold. They're not going down without a fight. They have not given up. And no, he is still the assassin here in the back line. He is still the one making the difference for the Dallas Fuel. And that's going to be it. The Dallas Fuel take the second match. Being able to win Volskaya was pretty cool for us. I mean, the dugout, everyone, everyone was buzzing. It was pretty cool. It actually pumped everyone up a lot because that actually was our first Volskaya win of the season. For whatever reason, that map plagued us. <laughs> It's it's in the back of their mind that they won't make top six now, okay? So we can absolutely keep the pressure up. And yeah, we can we can do it for London, boys. Gotta get some kills out of this one. They get a cup. Oh, buddy. Baby Bay on the plank. He gets walled in as well. Now he's stuck dead. Zachary finds him. There's the Blizzard on the point as well. Not there's the blossom from Baby Bay. He's gonna clear the point. I want to die, die, die. And they throw in the blossom. Baby Bay finishes it up. Third map was a very, very close map. Um, I know that there was just a little things kind of built up and that caused us to lose. And you know, there was a couple really good plays from Atlanta. Um, we had some good plays on that map. That map was just in general a really good map. Unko here with the trance though, so he's doing everything right. And we are seeing the push coming in to a halt. The Atlanta Rain finding the kills and slowing down the fuel. As time though he's gone, it's all on the stagger now. It's all on the stall for the Dallas fuel. But the Atlanta Rain, they hold. And it will be them getting the job done. Unko, come on. All right, there we go. Atlanta Rain take the series three to one. Despite the loss, I think that, you know, we played fairly well. You know, obviously it's not up to our own standards or things that we were hoping for. So that, that kind of feels like the theme this this stage where we don't quite live up to our own expectations. Um, so I think that, you know, despite that, I think everyone uh, took the loss fairly well. I think despite it being like 3-1, the match was really close. We were one fight away from taking King's Row and then we would have 100% went to a map five. So I think overall, most of it was actually pretty good. I think we, we played pretty well. Of course, we'd made a lot of mistakes that cost it the game, but I think most important but something we have to remember is we, we actually had fun on that game. Uh, we played with uh, our hearts out. Uh, we had a lot of fun, so we played well. We went into it with open hearts, open ideas, open everything. And I think that we played a lot better as a team because of that. We all definitely went out there and kind of left it all on the stage and made sure that we had no regrets when we were walking out that stage. Overall, the season pretty disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. It was tough, the second half of the season. I think we had a really good first half of the season. We played good as a team. Uh, we were winning a lot, but our second half of the season was like really disappointing and coming back from the streak and like finding the confidence to win again is always hard as players. I think this season was a very, very good opportunity for us to learn. We were trying something new with, with adding so many coaches and, and just with some of the structure that we did. And, you know, with stuff changing even in stage one with the RCK trade and then, you know, effect retiring, you know, it, it put a lot of pressure on us to adapt and, and change our structure. I think this season was a very challenging one, very stressful one. It was a lot of pressure to keep performing even against these, like, incredibly tough opponents. I think the main thing that I'm going to bring with me into the next season is just the strong mentalities of all the players on this team. They went into every scrim, every match, and they tried their heart out. And I'm kind of really proud of all of them. Even though we had something like an 11 lose streak, I still feel like we 
who did really well and I'm really excited because I think there's a ton of potential here. We got some really valuable data and learned a lot about how we can keep you know, our competitive edge on stage even through the tough times and you know, things to avoid, things, things to do. You always just try to take away as much as you can from it. And you know, we're not gonna you know, beat ourselves up about it. It happened. My, my thing is you know, I, I try to audit everything from the coaching staff to how I, I handle things, to how the players do everything, and you know, see what we can do better, see how we can adapt, see how we can change. And I think that uh, adaptation is, is the key. Everyone here is kind of on the same page where, you know, we don't want to be the guys that roll over. You know, we want to be a team that wins. And so, you know, even though we couldn't do that, particularly because of the second half of the season, when we come back from our break, we're going to really dig in and we're going to try to figure out how we can be the best team. You know, that's our goal and we're never going to stop grinding. We're not going to give up or anything. And so even if, if the roster changes, even if the staff changes, whatever, you know, the heart of Dallas Fuel is, is to be a team that wins. And that's what, that's what we want to get back to. You know, we, we want to burn the brightest. And so that, that's our goal um, with everything we're doing in the offseason. Uh, I'd like to thank the fans for all the support they've given us, uh, no matter what, uh, through the hard times and through the good times. Well, it started out really well and we may not have gotten the results that we wanted. Um, I, we really appreciate you guys supporting us, whether we're doing well or not doing too well. We tried our best, we tried as hard as possible, we tried to always get back up and try to win again. Uh, unfortunately it didn't happen, but you guys were always here to cheer us on and uh, we really appreciate it. It means, a lot, it means a lot to us. The ones that have kept cheering on every single game, win or loss, regardless of how we're playing, regardless of how we're doing, just thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, we all do. Uh, you guys don't understand so much of how much it means to us personally. Like, uh, you know, it just drives us even further to make sure that we can be the best we can be. Knowing that there's this huge base behind us that are just constantly supporting us is a huge source of motivation for me. And I want to give back by doing my best in the next season, trying to make sure that you guys have a team that you're proud to support. We want to make sure that. Every fan of Overwatch, you know, will see that you know Dallas Fuel is, is a team to root for, a team that you can get behind, that you can be proud of, that you know you can be a part of the family. And you know, we know that all the fans that have been there for us from the start, um, we recognize you and thank you so much for your support. It really, really helps, especially in these tough times. Going one to thirteen, you know, it's it's not us, and we don't want that to to define us going forward. So you know, this off season, we're going to be working our butts off. You know, to, to make sure that you know, next season we're a team that you can truly be proud of. So I'm going to keep doing my best and I hope you guys can keep doing your best. And we look forward to seeing you guys next year in Dallas. So thank you and burn blue.